Hey there everyone. This is the brand new Nexus 4 wireless charging orb for the Nexus 4 obviously. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for this. It has a price tag of about $60, around $71 shipped to me. Um, a model number uh, WCP400. Came uh, within two days after I ordered it, so you know, pretty excited. The uh, palm touchstone obviously doesn't work, but it's a really neat stand for it. But now I finally get the uh, the legit LG charging orb. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Take a look at the official seal first. We got the quick start guide, warranty, put those on the side. Beautiful charging orb, padding on the bottom, so probably don't slip too much. Recessed uh, USB port for in charging and Take this off. Rubberized finish, gloss around the edges and on this. This is uh, lifted up a little bit. It's probably good because if you have a case on your Nexus, it'll sit probably very nicely. Well, with the bumper at least. So, yeah. The top of it hits actually a little bit, it grabs on it, so that's pretty good. And you know what? The orb matches the poetic borderline bumper pretty well, with this being just a little bit darker than the gray, and then the, the gloss trim. So actually, these complement each other really nice. Let's put that down. We've got a ridiculously oversized USB uh, wall charger and a standard micro USB uh, cable. So we're going to test this out now. Let's plug it in. I'm going to use my powered hub over here. To see if it will charge. This is not the uh, cable it came with. This is the cable it came with. I just don't want to take it out of the packaging right now. This is from a Vibrant. Sits in decently for this charger. I'm sure this one's nicer. Has a thicker plug so it will uh, fit in and fill out this bevel a little more okay there's, there's no LEDs or anything so let's see uh, if it works okay so now it picked up charging but it falls so then it doesn't charge charging and then it falls and doesn't charge that's not very fun okay Hopefully this issue doesn't happen with the um, official bumper, um, maybe because it's too uh, smooth on the bottom, and you don't feel any magnet at all. Yeah, it just stops charging. So let's take this out of the case. Try it like this. Oh wow, that holds it nicely. You can pretty much, they could stick it in a few different areas, and it works fine. Go all the way up, and it still charges. There you go. Wow, so it has a good range of areas it will charge through. Unfortunately, it does not work very well with the Poetic bumper. Alright, so here I have a TPU case. 
put this in. Okay, let's see if it will stick. There it goes. It holds just as well with this case as it does, and charges just as well as it does by itself. So yeah, I mean, this one's great. Just pop it down, done. Mm -hmm. So do not use it with the Poetic Borderline case. It seems to work on other surfaces that don't slide as much. So since this is non-slip, it'll, it'll work fine with the bumper. Oops. Yeah, so works on this, not on glass. Maybe we'll uh, experiment and use a wall charger instead of powered off the hub. Sometimes you'll have different experiences with that. What I'm going to do first, though, is switch to the original USB cable. So I plugged it in <clears throat> to the wall using the uh, wall jack it came with, and it seems to have the same issue where it slides off too much. And the charging field isn't great enough to uh, to maintain that. It's a great little addition to have. Um, I may go caseless for a little bit. However, I will be getting a new case soon, the Fusion case, which I'll be doing a review on. And um, I'm hoping that it uh, it doesn't slide off with that one because I really am looking forward to using it. So. Uh, there you have it, the uh, wireless charging orb. Yep, that's how much it holds it.